Salutations and good morrow everyone. Welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping back into the Hot and Hazy Update and today we're going to be going over the three new sets of armor in order from left to right. Nothing special about them in their order other than the way that I think they're the coolest because of the skills that they have on them and how I would use them the most. But before we go any further, I'm going to want you guys to make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below of which armor set's going to be the most helpful for you and your place style. So thank you everybody so much and let's hop in and let's look at these armor sets. So the first one we're going to be looking at, hey buddy, how you doing? Uh, is this one. Okay. This is the lion ant or ant lion armor, not lion ant, ant lion armor. Okay. It, there's three parts to it. It makes you look like you're wearing a sombrero, a poncho and some cool boots. So I'm just going to go ahead and equip the entire thing here. There we go. All right. Let's look at the perks that you get for it. Okay. So you get um, sizzle protection. It is light armor. This one is. So this one's going to make it so you could run a little bit longer. Your stamina is going to regain faster. Um, but its defense is okay. It's probably the best defense for light armor right now. And you get something called sizzle protection. What sizzle protection is used to do is is used to make you a little bit more resilient to the sizzle effect that is in the sandbox. So it's gonna make it so exploring that area is just a little bit easier. Now, the set bonus on this one is quick draw. What is quick draw? Quick draw is meant for archers. If we come over to OS and we scroll all the way down to the bottom, it says faster reload speed while in combat. So that means that when you're in combat, you'll be able to reload a bow faster, which is really, really cool because that means that this is a upgraded version of an archer outfit for your character to wear. So they are making it so the long distance classes have better stamina and better stamina regain and faster reload. So you may not get more damage, but let us not forget that in this update, you can upgrade your bow to make it so your bow is gonna do way more damage now. So do you need an armor set that gives you even more damage now? I don't think so. I know that pollen shot is really cool because it ups the stun on your enemy on the enemies, which is neat. But this armor set right here, I think, is a super versatile armor set for people who want to wear light armor, want to explore the sandbox, and also want to be able to use their bow a little bit more efficiently. All right. So going on to the next one, this one is the black ant gear. All right, we'll go over it really quick in the crafting menu. The black ant gear does require black ant parts, silk rope, and bee fuzz in order to make. Okay, and the antlion stuff does require antlion stuff to make as well. So I didn't mention that, but yeah, uh, it takes antlion parts. Just like this takes black uh, ant parts. But anyway, let's talk about the armor set. So first of all, the armor set in comparison to the red ant armor let's just go take a look here so here's the black ant armor the defense is right up there so about just tickling the fourth box and the red one is inside of the first box now you do not get hauling strength with this armor you get stun with this armor and it is also heavy armor not medium armor it is heavy armor so this one gives you stun which as it was explained by Andy in the last uh, dev stream, stun is not something that's going to happen randomly. Stun is another version of like a health bar that they have that slowly fills up depending on the amount of damage you do and the type of damage you are doing to an enemy. So what this armor does is it allows you to stun faster, which is awesome. The other thing that I want to point out is you get this a set bonus called pin cushion. If we go over to OS and you scroll on down to where it says pin cushion, this actually reflects some damage back at the attacker, which is why this has become the second most wanted used armor that I want to check out in the game because it is really, really neat to be able to not only stun your enemies faster, but also be able to reflect damage back to the enemy as well. And the armor stats, if we look at it in comparison to like like, let's see, there's, so it's tickling the fourth one there. The faceplate for the ladybug armor is on par with that, which means that this black ant gear is just as strong as the ladybug armor. Now, yes, this is going to give you blocking strength and it's going to give you uh, the scarlet embrace, which is going to heal you over time if you have that full set. But let us not forget 
that black ant armor is going to be also a very devastating set of armor for you to use especially if you're in a group you got one guy wearing this armor to keep the enemy stunned maybe you got another uh, guy who's tanking that's going to be using the ladybug armor there's all sorts of really cool things that could happen right now for your character to use so this armor probably in my opinion is the second best armor that's added to the game the first best armor because of looks, because of the perks, and because of the armor rating, in my opinion, because I am such a brawler in this game, and I run in and I'm like, well, blocking be damned, I'm going to be fighting. So, is the roly-poly armor. Now, what I want to point out about this roly-poly armor is I want to point out that it says crusty roly-poly helmet, crusty roly-poly chest piece, crusty roly-poly legs. This is made from sickly roly-poly parts. I haven't really explained this a whole lot because I haven't gone over all the new bugs that have gotten out of the game, but I'll explain a little bit here. According to the developers of Grounded, the sickly roly-poly is the roly-polies that are around trash. They are considered to be a not as difficult version of the roly-poly as the ro official roly-poly will be when it comes out or Pillbug or, you know, Woodlouse or whatever you want to call it. This is just an early version of it. I'm assuming that in this upper map area up by these cinder blocks that we saw in a previous ad up over here, a previous uh, advertisement for the game, um, it looked like that there was going to be some cinder blocks up here, which we know that's where pill bugs like to hang out. So I'm assuming this second tier of the backyard is going to be a lot harder than this lower tier of the backyard that we're currently in right now. So with this looking at this armor set let's talk set bonuses and how to make it so let's start with how to make it so first things first you're gonna need a lot of roly-poly stuff and roly-polies are hard to fight I'll, I'll tell you guys some locations and how to fight them better in another video but they're kind of hard to find you're gonna need three roly-poly shells and five roly-poly parts for the helmet for the chest piece, you are going to need five roly-poly parts and three shells. And for the legs, you're going to need the same thing. They have not updated this yet to the point where they're going to give you everything you need. I'm assuming that there's going to be some spider silk that's going to get added in here. You see that that one needs some spider silk there. If you scroll up to the... the uh, chess piece here. It looks like we may need to get some antlion parts in the future in order to get that because that does look just like the antlion poncho here. So I'm assuming you're going to need some antlion parts in order to make that. And the helmet is probably going to need some sort of antlion parts as well. Maybe some bee parts because of this little area on the top of the head there. So really cool. Now, what does this armor give you? Now, this is opposite of the ant armor where this has stun block so what this does is it's going to keep you from being stunned it's going to block you from being stunned out from getting attacks from things like roly polies and some of the more advanced enemies in the game that are going to do more damage to you and be able to fill up your stun meter a lot faster so this is stun block for you the other thing is is it has invincible shielding okay this armor is meant to be played <clears throat> with a shield and a one-handed weapon like the black ant sword so it is meant to be played this way why is it meant to be played like that because if we go over to the set bonus and look at invincible shielding it is a chance to automatically repair a shield on block which means if you're worried about your shield sitting there taking damage with this perk on this armor you can more or less keep using your shield without your shield breaking almost indefinitely so really really cool so it's gonna allow you to be a lot more tanky you may not be healing the whole time but you will be a heck of a lot more tanky and that is a really really cool armor set now if we look at it in comparison so let's look this one is a little bit higher in the fourth tier than the actual black ant helmet is so that means that technically this has the highest armor rating in the game now for your character to wear even higher than the mask of the mother demon which is a mask that comes straight from the boss in the game so really really cool armor that's gotten added to the game so far for us to be able to use but guys that is everything covering all the new sets of armor that have come to grounded hope you guys like this video if you guys did please hit that like button for me let me know you guys want to see more also guys please do not forget to hit that comments down below Below and let me know which armor set is your guys' favorite, and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.